Hi friends, it's Tanya Reed with Sweet Tea Stampin' Spot and I am here to do my uh, let's do lunch. So I'm here to show you a project today. I'm going to be doing a gift card holder just in time for the holiday season. Um, so while I give it a moment for everybody to see that I am live, hopefully um, if you're catching me live, make sure you say hi. If you're catching a replay, I'd love to know if you watched. So pop a, pop a comment in or give me a thumbs up or a heart. Um, hopefully not a sad face. Um, or an angry face, but uh, I hope you are having a great week so far. It's only Tuesday, but it is the 20, it is the 7th, so we have 20, no, 18, 18 days until Christmas. We're going on just a little over two and a half weeks, so is that right? Yes, 18 days, so um, hopefully you are prepared for your holiday season, and if not, hopefully you can wrap that up soon and not... Um, get too stressed about it. So I am sharing this real quick to my Sweet Tea Stampers community group. If you're not a part of that group, it is a public group open to anyone, not just demonstrators. I do have one separate that's private for my demonstrator team, the Sweet Tea Stampers. But if you're a fan of the Sweet Tea Stampers or Stampin' Up! and like to be part of a Stampin' Up! community or a crafting community, it's a great group. We have for a little over 130 members, I think of it, all over the U.S. mostly. I think we have a few international, um, but we just share things there. People ask questions, but pretty much all related to stamping and paper crafting. So hopefully, um, if you haven't joined that, you're welcome to pop over to Sweet Tea Stampers Community Group, um, and you're welcome to join it. And then um, I also have a YouTube channel, so I've been starting to put these Facebook Lives, so if you miss anything or want to go back and watch something, sometimes it's hard to find it on Facebook, um, depending on how you navigate through Facebook. But the YouTube channel, Tanya Reed, just my name at this point, um, I have the last month or so, plus some previous videos I have added that are public access. I do use it sometimes for private things that my team were doing, um, but... Um, you're welcome to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Uh, and maybe you're watching on YouTube. I don't know. I've had a few people um, like my videos that I don't know and things like that on YouTube. So maybe you're finding me on YouTube. And, and thank you so much for watching and um, for your likes, I guess. Um, and if you want to subscribe to the channel too, I'll be uploading. My, my goal is to do every video that I make a project in to upload it to YouTube from this point forward. So in case you miss it on Facebook, you can pop over to the YouTube channel and, and look for it there. All right, so I'm going to get started. Um, one big, big thing, if you haven't seen, I know a lot of demonstrators have been posting it. Tomorrow, which is Wednesday, December 8th, any order placed tomorrow on the 8th, <clears throat> is, and it's if as long as it's over $50 in retail price um, before shipping and tax, you actually get free shipping. So that saves you 10% off of your order. Um, so tomorrow is a great day to do a little shopping. Maybe you're getting yourself a little Christmas gift um, and a, something you might want to, I probably wouldn't be getting stuff to make Christmas projects with, with at this point, but maybe you want to get some stuff and prepare for the spring or some paper crafting over the winter season. So um, uh, it's probably getting a little too late and too tight to get your order in to do in time for Christmas crafting, but maybe some New Year crafting and wintertime crafting. So again, tomorrow, December 8th, it's one day only, um, $50 or more orders get free shipping. So I do have a host code open, and when I flip the phone down, you can see that, and I will also put the link, if you're on Facebook, it will be in the details of the video. If you're on YouTube, it'll be in the details below the video. So. Still getting used to how all that stuff gets laid out once you post it, but um, but hopefully you can shop tomorrow and enjoy that free shipping opportunity. Now, if you are a demonstrator, I have had a few people on my team ask um, for demonstrators that does apply for us as well. So in addition to our discount as a demonstrator, we also get free shipping. So yay, demonstrators! <laughs> um, we get to double dip, um, which is nice. Uh, so I I don't think I'm buying anything more for Christmas. But I also still, because I'm a demonstrator, have the opportunity to pre-order stuff for um, the upcoming catalog. So that's what I'm saving for tomorrow is some more pre-order items. I just unboxed some for myself here and got them organized. My friend Lily helped me. She was in the studio for a few hours this morning helping me get some stuff organized and pulled. 
um, out of my retired stuff from this uh, previous or the current mini catalog, the holiday one, which is winding down quickly. Um, she pull, helped me pull that and organize it and price it for the next time I do a BOGO. And then she helped me put away my new stuff. So thank you, Lily, if you're watching at some point. Thank you for your help today. I really appreciate it. Um, and it was fun to have you in the studio again. I know you're on Christmas break from college, so I'm glad you could spend some time with me. Hopefully you'll have at least one more, maybe two more opportunities before you have to go back next in a couple of weeks in January. So, all right, I see Tracy's here. Hey, um, I am about to turn the phone down. So hi, Tracy, thank you for joining me. And if you don't get to watch at all, I don't think it's gonna take that long. And I, I always say that and I feel like it's like always 20 to 30 minutes, which is not bad. Um, and I'll stop talking right now and put my phone down, but um, you can always watch a replay if you need to catch it later or watch it again. So here we go, I'm gonna flip the phone down. And if you've just joined in, well, I'll say that in a minute, but um, I'm flipping the phone down. And let's see here. Hopefully, I forgot to adjust the lighting first. Hopefully you can see a couple things here. Um, so like I said, there is an ordering special tomorrow and it's free shipping. And the ordering code that I have open, if you go to tanyareed.stampinup.net, you can place orders there. You can look at my events coming up. And I do have um, two more in-studio events here in December, one on the 16th, that's Happy Hands, and one on the 30th, which is a kit together night. So both of those are remaining for December for events. So you can check out my events there. You can also join my team, the Sweetie Stampers, if you want. And of course, you can place orders. And with tomorrow, um, Wednesday the 8th, orders over $50 and get free shipping. So you're saving at least $6.95. It could be more than that, depending on how much you shop. So W9ZWA6UH. And again, I will put a link to that at the top of this video on Facebook, or if you're on the YouTube watching it, it'll be at the bottom of the video. So, um, so anyways, let's get started. I'm going to be using one of the stamp sets out of the regular catalog, not the mini catalog. So this is the tidings and trimmings. I have used this quite a bit this season. I'm not actually using any of the main images. I'm using the words and a couple of small images on this project. So this is still available and isn't going away anytime soon, but it does have a coordinating die set, which is really nice. Um, the die set has some really fun star dies, and of course it has the stocking dies and some other pieces and elements. Um, so it's a really great set, but that is still available and is not going anywhere yet. Um, and then I'm using the double oval punch, which again is not anything new. It came out last spring or this past spring and it carried over and it's in the regular catalog now. So I'll be using that for my words and an accent. Um, okay. So I am starting with a piece of designer series paper. Now you can do this with cardstock, but it is a little bit easier to fold because you are going to be doing a lot of folding with designer series paper. So the measurement here is six by eight. So out of one 12 by 12 sheet, you will get one of these gift card holders because it is the six by eight. Um, and then this is the flip side. So you can choose whatever side you want. And uh, let me give you a quick peek of this. My friend Michelle shared this project with me, Michelle Brown. Um, and I'm not doing mine exactly like hers because I don't have all the stamps she used. But essentially, it makes this little cute gift card holder. So this part here is for your tag or greeting. And then back here is where you would actually put your gift card. So there's kind of a two pocket thing going on here. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make that. But the starting measurement of your designer series paper is eight by six. Um, for making this project. Um, I do recommend having some tear and tape if you if you have some or some kind of really strong adhesive to close up your gift card holder when we're done. Um, and so that's one thing. I, sometimes the liquid glue can get messy and the stamp and seal is not always strong enough. The stamp and seal plus might be another good option. And I do have that, but I don't know where it is off the top of my head. So I'm just gonna use my, my handy dandy tear and tape. So. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is fold it in half this way. So fold it in half that way. And then I'm gonna open it up, back up. So I was basically folding on the eight side and now on the, on the six side, I'm gonna fold it in half this way. So I'm just 
basically making some creases for the most part. You could, if you wanted to, you could take your scoring tool and score that at halfway, so it would be at four and three, but this is pretty easy, so I would just not have to even worry about getting out my scoring tool. So I've scored it at um, at eight, uh, at four on the eight side and at three on the six side, okay? The next thing we're gonna do, so once you've got that, you know, you can flip it and flop it if you want to it to be the other way, just to make sure those crease marks are pretty good. Hello, Irene, thank you for joining today. I'm making a gift card holder, and you can do this with any designer series paper. I'm just using the painted Christmas, some I have quite a bit left over. Um, so fold it this way and this way, and I just fold it a couple times to make sure those are nice and creased. The next thing you're gonna do is fold it, now this is the eight side, so fold it like the taco, not the hot dog, that's what we were joking about this weekend when we were doing this in my class. And then you're gonna fold it in a book, okay? So you've got, it opens basically like that, okay? The next thing you're gonna do is take that top corner and fold it down so that it meets the left side there. And as you can see, that has started to become something. And I just use my bone folder to, of course, do a little nice crease there. And then you're gonna take the flap right behind that, and it, this one is not so exact. You're just gonna tuck it and make like a little dog ear going backwards. And you can do that as much or as little as you want. Okay, so that's where we're at. And then we need to seal it. So I'm gonna take my tear and tape. I'm pulling my sleeves up because they're getting in my way. I'm going to use my tear and tape, and where I'm going to put that is, I am going to, so you've kind of got actually three pockets at this moment. You've got the first one, the second one, and then this back flap here. I would actually seal this off, but if you wanted to keep it open for another pocket, you could, or um, an extra bonus pocket, you could, um, but I am going to seal that off in a moment. So first thing I'm going to do is on this first flap, I'm going to add some tear and tape, and I'm not going to go all the way up, but I am going to keep it as close to the edge as I can. And then along the bottom edge. So you kind of have two places for your tear and tape there. So that's kind of like inside the book. And that's going to create the main gift card holder. And then we're going to do some decorating. And a little bit of stamping to go with it and embellish it. Okay, so just add those there. And again, like I said, so now you've got this pocket here and that's where our tag's gonna go. You can put a little bit of adhesive down here, so I'm just gonna do a little snippet of my tear tape. And again, if you wanted to use your liquid glue or your um, stamp and seal or seal plus, you could. Um, I just like something like this that's like a 3D project kind of thing to have a little bit more sturdiness. So I add the tear and tape. I use that or the Stamp and Seal Plus. So you've got the pocket here, you've got the pocket here. Now I've got this weird pocket in the very back there. Um, I This one I am gonna just throw some glue in there. So I'm just gonna kinda do a line of glue there and a line of glue there, a little bit down the middle, and that will seal that up. Now if you wanted to keep it open for a secret pocket, you could. Just flip this over and kind of mash it. All right, so that is our main pocket there. So now let's do some other pieces and parts to put it all together. All right, so we have a piece of the um, Evening Evergreen um, cardstock, and I'm gonna stay, uh, punch out the scalloped oval, and this is gonna be a layer for my greeting, my main greeting. And then I have a piece of basic white, and I'm gonna go ahead and punch out, I'm gonna punch first, then stamp, the small oval that's gonna layer on there. And then I have a couple pieces of paper already cut. So I've got um, a piece of basic white and real red, and this is, and I'll put all these measurements at the top, one and three quarters by two and a half, so one and three quarters by two and a half, and then this is just adding a quarter inch more, So two by two and three quarters, okay? So we're gonna stamp a couple of these pieces then here together. Like I said, I am using the Tidings and Trimming Stamp Set, so I've chosen to use the Noel and the Two From, 
And then I'm going to add a little sprig of color at the top of that. So um, I'm going to do the real red ink to kind of coordinate with the color scheme. So we're going to do Noel on the circle, the oval, sorry, not a circle, the oval. Oops, kind of stuck there. The Noel. And then I'm going to stamp on here a to and from. And again, that's right from the tidings and trimmings. Same thing, I'm going to stamp it in the, um, actually that one I'm going to stamp in a different color. So I'm going to stamp that in the evening evergreen. We're going to switch the colors and just kind of bring it all together here. And I'll kind of put that towards the bottom like that. Because sometimes in our family, the gift is from the whole family, so I like to put the names, or two of us, or something like that. Um, and let's see, I think I'll add this little sprig here from the stamp set. I'll add that in the real red, and we'll kind of put that up at the top. So let me bring my stamp mat over here. So even though this stamp set is from the regular catalog not the mini so it is not retiring or going anywhere there are lots of items from the mini catalog that are going away um so pay attention to that some of them are have already sold out um and then some of them are on sale but not many of them but some of them are on sale up to 50 percent off so take advantage of that last chance retiring list um, if you want before the holidays and of course tomorrow if you do it then you can also get your free shipping so that's awesome as well Okay, so there's my little thing for the insert piece, and I'm going to just adhere these two together. A little bit of glue. There. And then on my Noel, I'm going to layer that on the Evening Evergreen scalloped oval. And this painted Christmas designer series, or uh, painted, yeah, painted Christmas designer series paper, it's actually not going to retire totally. So, which is rare that they don't retire a pack of paper. So that's going to carry into the next year's holiday mini catalog. So it'll be temporarily unavailable. I believe that's what it's classified as until the next holiday mini. All right. So now then you do need to, let's add some ribbon to this. I just used my older hole punch. Of course, we don't sell hole punches right now. Um, and I'm just going to pop a hole in this tag here. Like that. Um, I am going to also seal this part down just so it doesn't keep flapping around. I forgot to mention that earlier. So I'll put that down with some of my adhesive. And you could use whatever you like. And then I've used some of this ruched real red ribbon, which is also part of the painted, uh, this is part of the gingerbread suite. It is also not retiring, this ruched ribbon. It's going to st stick around. So I was glad to hear that too, because it is a really nice ribbon. So I'm just going to tie a knot with this on the little tag. Try and get it to lay so I can see that little sprig of stuff. And I trim those ends up a little bit. Yes, you definitely should try the gift card holder because, again, a good way to um, use up that designer series paper. Get it used. Use it. Don't save it. Use it up. There's always a new one to buy, right? So, so that's just going to slip right in this front pocket, and that's where you write your message. Of course, the gift card is going to go in this pocket here, and then um, I'm going to take another piece of the same Real Red Roost ribbon and just write about where the two papers, the two sides meet there. I'm going to just do a same thing, a double knot with that. I'm not even using any adhesive, but right at where they meet. <clears throat> okay. And then we'll use some dimensionals and pop up our Noel. There's a couple of those on here. 
Easy peasy, right ladies? And, oops, let's slide this over just a little bit. Push it over to the edge, there we go. And then our little Noel can go right on top of that. And there you have it. Quick little gift card holder. Yes, you could definitely change up the designer series paper. Use, um, use it for a birthday gift card, any kind of gift card really. Um, whatever your paper theme is, just kind of pick some of the same colors for your cardstock and your ink. And then, you know, add a little embellishment of ribbon. Again, staying with whatever colors are in your designer series paper. And it would be awesome, right? So easy peasy. Um, I think I'm going to put another dimensional at the top there because it keeps popping up and I don't like that. I want it to lay flat. I think both my dimensionals went right on the ribbon, which is why it's popping up. But there we go. We'll just add a bonus dimensional there. So as you can see, thank you, Michelle. I know she doesn't normally watch these, but she's one of my sweetie stampers, so maybe she will. Um, but she also, instead of flipping this back, she tucked this one under. So you could really do it either way. Um, you know, it's really depending on which paper you want to see and which design. So I kind of liked, you know, seeing different parts of it. But you could, that front flap, you could have either laid it flat like we did going backwards, or you could flip it and tuck it under. Um, so really super easy, great way to use up your um, designer series paper and, you know, make some quick gift card holders because, of course, we all like to give gift cards for certain things. So, and you could also tuck money in there instead of a gift card. Um, you could tuck cash in there. Um, you would have to make your own envelope for this because, or you can just stick it though in a, one of our regular envelopes. It would fit in there. It's plenty of room. It just may have a little bit of a gap, but all right, everybody. Well, again, don't forget tomorrow is free shipping day with any order over $50. So you can easily get to my ordering area under tanyaree.stampinup.net. And my host code that's open is W9ZWA6UH. And if you're um, placing a really large order over 150, don't put it under your host code. Use your own order and get your benefits for being a hostess as well and doing your own party or show or order. Um, all right, everybody, have a great rest of the day. And I will be doing another Facebook Live next week, um, but it won't be until Thursday the 16th. So we'll be um, going live again on Thursday the 16th. And that will also be a let's do lunch again. Um, I have class that night, so I decided to get my um, Let's Do Lunch or Facebook Live in before my class and not have to try and come on so, so late on a Thursday night. So thank you, everybody, for watching, and I really appreciate it, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.